Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. In our last episode, we kind of spun our wheels a bit. We didn't get anything too crazy finished, except for more science going, as well as a rocket silo ready to start, and rare blue circuits. Hopefully getting more of all the types of modules. Um, it's kind of a pain. I don't totally uh, understand why we're not getting more of stuff. Probably because we don't have enough. I don't know. We have a lot of red circuits. It looks like maybe green circuits are the problem? I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. We do have too many uncommon iron plates. So that's a problem. We're going to have to start requesting those specifically just to trash them. Because um, I don't have anything in particular we need to do with those. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Uh, I guess if I have enough uncommon batteries, we could directly make uh, uncommon accumulators. So that's something. The problem is you need more batteries than plates, so it's not going to end up using that many plates to do that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, and speaking of accumulators, we continue to run out of power every single night. Um, hmm. These things take a lot of power. Even with these efficiency twos, it's not it's not enough. Because these stupid prod twos increase energy consumption by so much. Um And the problem is an efficiency two doesn't totally cancel out the energy consumption even of a speed one. So I might actually need Power, I guess. Accumulators. We have a hundred uncommons just chilling and ready to go. Is this all uncommon? No. That's all uncommon. We can get some more uncommons pasted around. Really, uh, <laughs> not making the best use of our space, but that's fine. Oh, there's the ocean there. And then, we don't have lightning coverage. Over there. So now we're waiting on uncommons and rares for accumulators. Missing material for construction roboports. Did I not automate roboports? Really? No roboports. No, no roboports. Oh, okay. Well, let's put those in the mall. Somewhere. There, I guess. Roboport. Map search is so nice. I do wish it could search chests. I know we can search logistics chests now, but that's not quite the same. Um, but still, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's quite nice. And let's start on rocket fuel so we can load up the rocket here. So rocket fuel, what is it? Like one iron plate plus, I don't even remember. No, there's no iron plates to this. I'm thinking of Crastorio. Uh, it's just solid fuel and light oil. Okay. So that's super easy. Solid fuel and light oil. We could even make high quality rocket fuel if we wanted to. But I don't think I will. Um... I'm gonna piggyback off of these guys. 
I think I'm remembering that it's actually made, yeah, in assemblers. This has always felt weird to me. Make rocket fuel in an assembler. But, here we are. Connect that up, and then we've got rocket fuel. Do I want prod? Or do I want, like, speed? I feel like we want speed here. I don't think the amounts are going to be that worrisome. I may... How do we... It's so weird that you can only make... Um, these undergrounds are not pointless because you can't walk through without them. Squeak through, sadly, does not exist. Um, I, it actually does exist. It, it's just I don't have it downloaded. This is an unmodded playthrough. But, uh, okay, so yeah, about 0.6 per second. Is that enough rocket fuel? I think that's enough. Because you only need 50 for a rocket. So that's a, almost one rocket a minute. Maybe I should do one more. And one more beacon. Help things al along a bit faster. And then that should get rocket parts going. Reduce the power usage of this. Jeez. Still is. You get. I'm prop. My head's probably in the way, but it's nine megawatts to run this thing. Um. Yeah, the valves are problematic with the new system. I've heard. I, I was reading about that in the Pyanodons Discord. We still need 147 quality 2 modules. So why am I not making regular quality 2 modules? Uh, because I don't have regular quality 1 modules. Why am I not getting regular quality 1 modules? Because none of these are running because I don't have green chips. Why don't I have enough green chips? I don't know. I can't really answer that. I just don't. There's no easy way to just get more. I'm already making extra... With my extra iron and copper, I'm already making green chips. Right down here. So... Wait a second. No, that's not right. Is this just not hooked up to a wire? So this is never running. I see. No, no, it was. Wait a second. I'm confused. Now. Was that connected before or not? Oh, it was. It's highlighting the green cable now. But we just looked and we had 3,000 regular iron plates. I don't know what was going on there. But there's our, there's our green chips. Gosh, these things are so fast. This is nuts. But I have 3,000. So why is this not requesting? I'm so confused. Disabled by control behavior. Iron plate is greater than 1,000. Oh my gosh. No, 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 that's right. Something's janky here. What have I done? My logistics storage has 3,000. So the signals... 
Hold on, this substation isn't even showing any signals. Oh, is this just not connected to a roboport? Let, oh my gosh. I just assumed it was. Um, so there's the problem. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Hey, King's Gambit. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. That should do it. Yeah, and I guess for uncommon plates, we could work on making some uncommon green circuits. I just don't know the best place to feed those. Um, accumulator charge is still problematic. We just make another regular one. Where shall we go? Let's go to this other island. Let's go out of the way a bit. Fit some regular, regular accumulators over here. power pull to go across. Hopefully it can reach. No! I know it can reach over here. Alright. And then make sure we got coverage. Like so. And then we can bring the bots up here. But then we have to make sure the bots that are flying back and forth don't get struck by lightning. So we're gonna need... Oh no! This is where we need the, the higher qualities of lightning. Thing. Oh, maybe we can get the whole thing. There we go. This way our bots don't get zapped. The walking sounds on oil are gross. Yeah, the Tims are certainly more in danger than they normally would be. With all of this. But I think we're doing pretty good. All right, hopefully that's enough accumulation. Find out after nighttime here. And the other nice thing is that's a lot more surface area. Again, I don't know how close we are to maxing out our surface area usage, but... That'll definitely get us a lot more power, too. But the main issue is just the amount of accumulator charge. 18 gigajoules was not enough, apparently. And why does it say 7.8G right here? There's no way I just more than doubled it, right? Yeah, What? why does this say 18? And this only says 9.7. That's messed up. These numbers don't agree. <laughs> uh, it's like one of them is doubled. Or something. Oh, no, I just can't add. Sorry. That's just the charge. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. Crydax dub. We good. We good. It makes sense to me now. <laughs> it's just adding these three together to get 18.3. Uh... All right, so rockets are ready to go. 
So then, how do we want to do this? Do we do automatic requests from space platforms, maybe? And then the Hendrickson is going to add section, Fulgora science, science and buildings. And we'll request recyclers, uh, 60. We'll request electromagnetic plants, 40. And we'll request electromagnetic science. Oh, what's it actually called? Did I not just type electro? Oh, I must have typoed. Um, let's see. That's 2,000, 6,000. Maybe we can do 10,000. Don't tempt math. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't tempt me with a good time. Uh, mathing on stream is one of my favorite things to do. <sighs> Don't give me any ideas. All right, so rocket fuel's good. Now, regular rocket fuel is probably better than rare solid fuel. Um, yeah, you only get, you don't even get a 30, not even close to 30%. It's a very small boost. 6% on Excel, 1.5% on top speed. Obviously that adds up, but it's not crazy. Well, that's 24, okay. But yeah, 115, 180 is better than like even a legendary uh, solid fuel. So what I'm getting at is we should be now requesting rocket fuel for our trains. And that will help things out a bit. Um, if I really was wanting trains to be as efficient as possible, then I would actually work on getting some amount of uncommon rocket fuel. That would be easy enough, and that would be even better. But we'll just do it this way and call it a day. Uh-oh. Who died? We lost a Tim. Ah, moving over to the train fields. Oh, you can even see this on the map view? Ooh. Fancy. I didn't I didn't notice that. So there's no button for it, but when you're going to build one on the map view, you can still see it. So that's cool. Um, I do need to rebuild those inserters though. I was just rebuilding them to get the solid fuel out of their hands. So that's done. Did our accumulators last throughout the night? Finally, I think they did. Just barely. There it goes. Ten more recyclers on the way. With a million more units on the way. And uncommon iron plates are just running rampant. Um, I mean, we could get some uncommon circuits, but I don't think I'm using any uncommon circuits anywhere. I wish we could search for requests. Like, see a lo where logistics chests are requesting a specific thing. I don't think I'm requesting uncommon circuits anywhere. So I don't know if making uncommon circuits has that much of a purpose, is what I'm saying. Just wait till I have a thousand rocket silos going off at once. I'm very excited about such things. Very excited. Alright, what are we doing? Uh, this train is stuck because the other train's loading. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, I guess one thing we can do... We could put speed modules in the miners. Gosh, I can't walk over here anymore. I need a path. 
Let's see. How do we want to do this? Ooh, out of belts, Varparix? Uh, belts is tricky. We might have to put you on a different island if you want belts, though. Maybe there's a spot I can find. Or we can remove some accumulators or something. Uh, Alright, this island of mining has actually been pretty close to running out of power. So if I do put speed modules, I need to put efficiency modules, too. Uh, especially because I'm about to... Go up a party right, and then bring that in. Just to make sure we've got two full belts coming in. Should result in two full belts coming out over time. Once buffers are filled, right? If there's always two full belts coming in here, then yeah, that, that's what that should mean. Um, I don't actually understand why we're not seeing that. Maybe this hasn't always been two full belts? It sure feels like that's two full belts. Because that's 34 miners, each of whom get one item per second. Wait, but that's not a full blue belt. Full blue belt is 45. Oh, but the productivity is plus 40%. So 34 times 1.4 is going to be an extra enough to make a full belt. But 31 might not have quite been a full belt. So maybe that was the problem. So the only way we could make this faster would be to add a third belt, which I don't really think is necessary. Because it would be not even a full third belt. So now to get a third belt, which I don't even have the setup. No, we do have the setup for three belts. Oh, I forgot. I thought I had more than two belts total now. Yeah, that I basically have three potential belts of output. So now we certainly need to go uh, use up that island. Alright, let's go get that hooked up then. But first, let's get a little bit more accumulation just to guarantee we're okay. Alright, so I don't think I need to do anything else here. We can just let that be a two belt, two belt loading island. And then I do want to give trains. No, it's fine. It's fine. I was going to add a pass by on that section, but I don't think I need to yet. We'll, we'll cross that elevated rail support when we come to it. So here, yeah, we'll split this off right here, and then, oh, that's deep ocean. I'm going to have to go that away. Let's see, so we do chain, chain, regular, regular, and then this changes to a chain over here, and then we're good. So the reason that is a chain is because we don't want trains to stop in this section, right, because this is going to block things. Because there's only one train at a time that can go to get fuel, and only one train at a time that can go load over here. I can always add a cross 
path, or whatever you call it, where trains can cross by each other. Uh, somewhere along here. If we want trains to be able to go a little further while they wait. Because this will increase the... Gosh, these cliffs are so annoying. This will increase the lag time by quite a bit, the way that I'm doing it. So, like, if two trains are wanting to load up at this station over here, they're not going to be able to do so very quickly. But... All right, this is not the best island for a rail station, is it? Hmm. We're gonna have to do diagonal loading, the illegal techniques. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe we can, wow, that's actually, that's actually scrap right there. 83,000 on that one square. Crazy. Um, so... can do our, our up layer. Oh, geez. Not like that. <laughs> what? It's weird that holding shift won't just delete those. Huh. Weird. Okay. And then we need to connect over there, but it's not wanting to. All right. Um, of course, there's cliffs all around here. See, this looks like a place you can walk down, and you can't. I've always, I've always felt like these Fulgora cliffs are a bit misleading. I think they look cool, but they don't quite work for me in terms of understanding what's going on. And I don't know why shift isn't. Wanting to connect over here. Oh, it's because of the oil ocean? I literally can't connect this to anything? Oh, well, that'll do it. Um. <laughs> Look at this chaos. That's beautiful. Okay, well... I think what I'll do is I'll actually let that build, and then we'll do better than this. I think we can connect this a bit better. Yes, there we go. Gosh, all these new angles just look... They look so illegal. It's, it's crazy. Now we need a lightning rod there. Now power is going to be a big issue. I'm going to I'm going to need rare accumulators for sure. All right, so we need more rails. I think those are getting requested by me. Can we get bots over there? No, probably not. It's very close, but I don't think we can bridge the gap. The new rail planner is a chaos goblin. That that's not uh actually not wrong. It is certainly certainly chaotic. Let's deconstruct all this, get some blue belts back in our lives. And then accumulators, we'll figure that out in a moment. Does the uncommon roboport have a bigger range? Oh, it does, you're right. Uh, no, wait, does it? Or is it just charge? It might just be charge time. I can't remember. Yeah, it's just charge rate, unfortunately. So there's there's still no super roboport like a lot of mod packs have. 
And apparently I don't have rails requested. Wait, what's going on? Hello? Why are those not getting built? Did I break something? I have rails. I guess I need the rail ramp. I know what's going on. Support. Make sure those are coming to me. I might need to use efficiency ones actually on this other island. I guess we'll see. Also, has power lasted throughout the night? Yeah, we're good on that now. Um. Are you gonna actually get built now? No? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Alright, train stop. And then loading. We'll copy from over here. Not that it's very complicated. How many miners can we fit on this patch? It actually seems like it might be a lot. So how many would we need if the goal was two belts? I guess that's the question I have right now, is can we get two belts out of this? Or not so much. Um, and then accumulators, we'll figure out in a minute, I guess. But how many miners is this? That's 83, that's enough. Um, Cause we would only need 90 and that's without productivity. And 90 divided by 1.4 is only 64. So 64 miners is the two belt limit. And we have a good amount more than that. So in that case, let's jam efficiencies into all these. I will need to come back for more efficiencies. There's that. And then we need to bring all these belts over. Um, so left, left, right. I'm just seeing which side is winning. It looks like left is winning by quite a few. Cancels out one, two, three, four. So left is ahead by three. No, that's actually pretty close. I guess left is ahead by four if you count this. So if all of these went right, then right would be ahead by three. Right would be behind by two. Tied ahead by two. Okay, so if all these go onto the right side of the belt, we're actually pretty close to tied. Um. And as far as total amount of miners, that is 19, that is 21, 26, and 18. So those are all pretty close. So a four by four balancer, and then we're good to go. Or even a, or a four to two balancer, I should say. Um, how do these work again? Do they even work? Magnets. Something like this. No. This. It's probably more than we need. Uh, if 
We're doing four to two. Can't I just do this? Because, I mean, the issue is that if the only two you were getting were these two, then these two wouldn't be full. So this is not a throughput unlimited 4 to 2, but I'm expecting the patch to have relatively equal drain rate, so I'm not worried about it. Um, and now... Can't really access both sides of the rail. It's a bit sad, so I do want to load this. And then like that. Okay. And now it's just a question of accumulation. So let's do something like This is where I wish I could pop into the editor real quick because I don't have any spaces. Ooh, never mind. I was just about to say, I don't have any spaces that are just wide open and easy to design in, but. Oh. Wait, what happened to my visibility? Oh, I have to stand closer. I could see that a moment ago. All right, and then. Oh, it's so weird. You can't access your inventory when you're in the map view. Then we want something like this. Okay, so that's our uncommon. Uh, whatever I was. What is happening? I want to delete this. I don't have enough uncommons for this, but... The other thing I wonder is, can you do an upgrade planner from uncommon back down to normal? You can, okay. So we could kind of be like, all right, those are all the uncommons I've got in my inventory. Now let's switch to normals. I'm guessing with actually using efficiency modules, we might be okay here, because miners do not use that much power with efficiency modules going. Oh, but I I need, uh, how many? I need about 200 more efficiency modules, so that's gonna take a minute. Scoob the noob? No, 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 this is scrap load. Oh, I need to go fetch a lot more accumulators and a lot more efficiency models. A one-time request of 200 of these bad boys. I don't even think I have 200 in the network is the problem. Alright, so things are looking pretty good. How's our rocket launching going? Seems like we're making some progress. Oh, we are not making progress. We haven't even had one trip yet? Of science? Oh, we just got our first one. Crazy it took that long. What has my base been doing? 
What have you been doing this whole time? Have you not been making science? Uh, no, it took 15 minutes off of making science. I wonder what that was about. Um... Weird. It was making pretty consistent EMP science, and then it just stopped. What did I do 20 minutes ago to stop all EMP science? I actually have no idea. I must have used a bunch of Holmium for something. Did I limit the chests? Uh, yeah, but the chest should have been empty. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? I see the problem. What had happened was it was trying to fulfill the request for the uh, electromagnetic plants first. Those were really slow to craft. Oh, because we're out. Ooh. We're completely out of Holmium because I'm only requesting regular Holmium. So that created this weird loop. So that means I need... You know, quality can be annoying. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. Quality can be annoying. Because then it means you have to account for running out of even normal stuff. EMP basic mall. It has a lot of gotchas. It's got multiple types of gotchas. <laughs> um, it sure does have the gotchas. All right, so I'm going to do an uncommon here. And the problem is uncommon refined concrete is not something I have. Uh, let's design that. Where am I making refined concrete? Right there. Okay. Let's get quality going there. And then we'll get some uncommon refined concrete happening. Yeah, Space Age is in less than 24 hours. You guys get to play so soon. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Would you, this is a good time to remind everybody that you can join the Crydania Discord if you're wanting to hang out with some other people who are playing. There's going to be a lot of us hanging out there. And so you can do that anytime. Uh, for a train cannot find a path. We'll look at that in a second. Now this is almost done with the concrete art. For those wondering, this is a very large amount of channel points. Once you accumulate them, you can redeem them for concrete art. Uh, I normally wouldn't allow it to be this big, but uh, the one who submitted it is also a mod, so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there's also a podcast I do called The Factory Must Grow, if you're interested in that. So that one is mostly Factorio related, though we talk about other factory games other than just Factorio as well. It's just that Factorio Space Age has kind of been the big deal for a while now. And Friday Facts have been coming out every week for a while now, so we've had plenty to talk about with Factorio. But when any, you know, we talked about the Satisfactory 1.0 release and some other things too, so. A little bit it follows my whimsy, but it's mostly, <laughs> mostly Factorio related. Um, now this can't find a path. That is interesting. Oh, we can't go from here to refueling. That's the problem. So we need an, we need an option. How do we do that? Need some way to get to, yeah, refuel. You wish you could take PTO this week. Yeah, this would certainly be a good week for PTO. Right, I still don't have enough efficiency modules, but we're closer to having enough. I may still need some more accumulators. Now, why did the train leave? Because we didn't actually build those rails. Oh, maybe the bots did? It looks like the bots did. Um, problem is the signals aren't right, so we could potentially have an issue going on over here. Maybe. 
And we do indeed have an issue. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Okay. Uh, so we knew that was gonna happen. This needs to be chain. This needs to be... Ooh, what do we need to do? Uh, chain. Regular. Chain regular. And then I just need to delete these all together. And then you, I will just manually say, go to some other place. And they'll, they'll figure themselves out eventually. Now that I've done that. Yes, Jumper, you can. You can walk on the oil ocean. I hadn't, I hadn't, um, I didn't know that until I got here either. It would be really annoying if you couldn't. I'll just say that. Because otherwise you would need, like, a plane or a boat or something. Which you don't have, so. It's a good thing that they let you do that. You're waiting to refuel. What are you doing? Uh, we've got the problem again. The problem is it doesn't have rocket fuel at all. Wait, when did I do uncommon rocket fuel? Damn. That's the problem. I didn't mean to do that. It's because the uncommon was already selected because I had uncommon solid fuel. Um, so we should be good now. Once that gets here. Take a minute. Uh, yeah, fish are still healing as normal, but they spoil in like three hours. So, if you're doing a bunch of manual fighter fighting in the early game, you're gonna have to go fishing more often than just once in the early game. Okay, so now the refuel is the wrong interrupt, because now we're not measuring. Maybe I'll just do 10. 10 rocket fuel is still plenty. Okay, so, but now it shouldn't be doing... Oh, I have to save it. Then it should go, right? There we go. Alright, now we're good. Now we're good. That train's going. This one's refueling. That one's unloading. Control shift scroll wheel allows you to scroll through quality levels. Wait, what? Really? That's so cool. Now the other train is still corrupted. So wait, if I was like selecting a filter on something, control shift scroll wheel. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything right here. Unless you mean it does. Mm, I don't know where it would function. Okay, what about power here? We've been okay? Seems like we've been okay so far. Right, so now the question is, are all three of these train stops spitting out scrap. They are for now. So that's three belts of scrap now. And our bots are having some charging issues in mainly just that one spot, but let's kind of get another RoboPort maybe there. They seem mostly okay otherwise. Maybe we'll do one more like here. <laughs> they should have added sandworms to Fulgore. We already have worms. We don't need two planets with worms. Shift Alt scroll wheel. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So like when you're holding a ghost, you can scroll wheel it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what about here? 
Oh, wow. Okay. That's nice. The things they don't tell you in this game are very many. I just love to hide features like that, don't they? In big bases, why do people shove robo ports in small areas? It's just the way to do it, I guess. Alright, um. Uh, it's because this is where all my storage chests are, is why the bots are freaking out over here. And I need some more storage chests, I think. And now I need to find a, a path to walk back over there. Yeah, they're gonna be stuck here for a minute because they were they were there long enough that it's only bots that are out of juice that are waiting, and they can't repath when they're already waiting. The new ones will repath, but the old ones will not. All right, how have we been doing on science? Oh, we've been jamming. Now we're getting a full 90 a minute. Beautiful. And it looks like we've already satisfied our space desire for 10,000. No? Oh. Oh, it just waits to request it? What's going on here? Uh, am I missing something? Shouldn't it be like filling up the rocket inventory? Does it wait until the planet has a thousand and then it adds the request? Maybe? That might be how it works. Okay. Sviplet confirms that is how it works. I see. All right, well, I'm impatient. Do we have enough for anything cool? Do we have enough for the mech armor? Because that's going to be badass. Um, what else do we get? Quality threes. More robot speed. Ooh, blue chip productivity. That's pretty neat. Oh, no. I didn't know this research existed. Scrap recycling productivity, so that means our, our scrap output belts are going to be even more full of crap. Oh, geez. Um, so, how many did I actually have? Exactly 5,000, and my labs have productivity in them. So this is enough to get the mech thing, at least. But I think I'll wait for one more thousand. Though I don't have enough conductors because I don't have enough holmium. Um, why am I not doing prod in the holmium solution? That I do not know. Because that'll be an extra 18% out of our holmium. And then... We do need to just actually trash if we have more than 900 uncommon holmium plates. Uh, let's see, holmium, click, control, alt, Shift, Alt, scroll up. Cool. Uh, greater than 900. Okay. So that way we won't have that issue again where we have too many uncommons. Um, it the problem is the uncommons, Spiflet, because I would have to I would have to be making what uncommon? I don't even know. Some things to get rid of the uncommon plates. 
We have enough superconductors, but it's the supercapacitors we're low on. Yeah, the problem is we're using quality, so it's kind of making... The real trick would be to make it so that if we have... I mean, honestly, do I even care about quality with these right now? I think the better call might be fraud in these. And then we just say screw it on quality. And then the speed might be a little problematic, but I doubt I have enough of the solution anyway, so. Yeah, foundries later are gonna be the real trick. For sure. It was just nice, because then I did get a few uncommon electromagnetic plants, but I guess those aren't that big of a deal. All right, sweet. Okay, well, do we have 6,000 yet? No, still not. Still not. Let's just ship it. Ship it. You can enjoy the ride. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to have legendary modules with legendary beacons and legendary crafting plants. Gonna be wonderful. Well, that's working. Let's get Varparex's name in game. Did specifically request belts, so we can do that real quick. Um, so yeah, I think 90 a minute is gonna be enough. I was sitting there kind of wondering if we needed to do better, but I think it's good. good news is we have belt immunity, so. That means we don't have to worry about getting pulled all which way. Wow, look at all these meteors. Look at all those meteors. But it looks like we were able to handle all of it. Not quite keeping up on ammo production. But still doing pretty good. I guess we could be a little more efficient if I did physical projectile damage 9, but that's 4,000 packs. We're already doing 28.8 .8 damage with gun turrets, which is nuts to me. Um, Alright, so now how do we automatically send down all of these things? Um... Is there a way to do that? Allow unloading cargo. Or do we just have to set the request on our cargo doodad here? Uh-oh. Wait, how did we end up with uh, problems? Having problems. Um, I guess we shouldn't do 300 to infinity. There we go. How did... But was the other one... Hold on. Were we auto-trashing? I think we were auto-trashing plates at some point. I don't actually know how exactly that worked. 
Yes, inserters the other way. Yeah, I don't know what exactly was going on there, but now we want to do electromagnetic science pack. And I want to request all of it. We'll do 5,000, and then we want to immediately dump that into active provider chests. We don't have enough logistics spots for all this chaos. And then we're going to need to add in... New science. We all add new sciences in over there. Because this, I guess this will work uh, if I just hold this belt here. Like this. And if we've got our poiple, you can request the group. Uh, did I have a group with? Oh, you know, I guess that does make sense. I get what you're saying. I can never find science. Oh, that's because you have to scroll down. Okay. With any amount of luck, that'll get us EMP packs. EMS packs? Electromagnetic science? Yeah. EMS. Here it comes. Whee! Oh. I did this very wrong. Um... Guess we can fix it by doing this, this, that, this, that, and then we don't have a condition on that one. Wait, what? I c what? I know I copied that and it didn't work right. That's weird. I know I left click, right clicked. Okay. So we're gonna have too much space science for a minute. Hopefully it doesn't completely clog up. Eesh. I think we're okay. Once we start researching something, it'll use up the space science. But yeah, we've got pink science on there now and we can start researching. Be one with the machine. Now that's an exciting research, if I've ever seen one. That's an exciting research. And then the next question is, have we fully unloaded all of the space science? So there's those. That's all done requesting. So now I'm going to send this back. I will automate all this at some point, of course. It might need a little bit more ammo production to make sure we never... I mean, we haven't had any issues yet, but it gets a little scary, I think, here and there. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. 
how's power been? Are we we've been good on power for the last few nights? Yeah. We've been good on power for the last few nights. I am still low on Q2s. Um, and that's because of not having Q1s. And not having Q1s is because of not having enough green circuits. You just sent rockets of ammo to the platform. Can you filter slots in the space platform core? I think so. No? Maybe not. No, you can't. Not do that. Yeah, we don't have enough green circuits, is the problem. Yeah, you can just make the inventory bigger by adding the cargo hub things. So that that's a good point. Uh, yeah, we just have too many uncommon plates. So let's get a plate killer set up. I know this is not the most efficient thing on the planet, but it does work. Iron plate, uncommon. And then you go. If iron plate uncommon greater than I don't know eight thousand. I assume this can delete them as fast as we make them. But we'll see. All right, and then let's get rid of that one-time request. We'll go over and fit the rest of the modules into the monitors here. Yeah, there's no upper limit on platform size, but actually moving it gets more and more difficult if you just make it massive. Alright, let's get these. So wait, what's going on here? Oh, right, right, right. Unfortunately, this train is now stuck. Oh, you can't you can't do the bot thing where you grab item. Oh, you can. I'm just holding shift and you know, need to not hold shift. Okay, so that'll fix the fuel issue. That's been why scrap has slowed down. We'll see if we have enough power once this island is providing more often. Oh, and I, I guess we need to disable stops if they don't have enough in them. Um, this is why I like merging chests. Because this is just not fun for me. 20, we need to connect 24 wires. That's ridiculous. Um, enable disable if scrap. Uh, we only enable it if scrap is greater than uh, 40 stacks of 50 times 4,000. 5,000. Am I doing that math right? 5,000 scrap enough to fill a train? Trains carry 4,000 scrap? Yeah. Looks like a trip wire for a train. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, I think that's right. something similar for this. Do 
It will disable based on scrap being greater than 5,000. All right, so that way we won't have trains come in here to get scrap if there's not enough. Oh yeah, I think that'll do it. This is such a weird base. I love it. It's so different. Uh, are we reducing uncommon iron plates now? Compared to increasing? Yes, I am consuming more than producing. Good, good, good. Alright, so those will be gone eventually. Well, they won't be gone. I just will have 8,000 of them instead of a increasing amount of them. And mech armor is 22% done. Glorious. I was hoping we'd get to mech armor in this episode, but I, this research is going to take a while. So I need more science uh, makers and such. Gosh, inventory size bonus is 50. Equipment grid size is 10 by 12. Oh my goodness. This could be a time to work for uncommon, but do I really need to? Do I need to? Or is it? I think a common mech armor is going to be just fine. I've already got enough stuff. Though having lasers might be nice if I go to Gleba to protect myself. Is it already new planet time? Uh, Zekola, maybe we're getting close. This is certainly not an amazing Fulgora base. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, we could leave, because most of what we can do here on Fulgora can be done remotely, but I just don't know if we've quite got it going fast enough. I guess at the end of the day, this only exists to make science, EMPs, and recyclers. So as long as we have enough of those, we don't really need to make any other changes. The question I have right now is, are we trashing green circuits somewhere? Is it, I think we're running out faster than we should be. So green circuits. We're not used in accumulators. And we trash them into iron if we have more than 1600. Maybe I'll change that to 2000. It can be a source of iron. Other than that, the only place we are using them is in modules. Or, I guess, supercapacitors. So then, we're going up to 1,000 before we spend them on rare blue chips. It looks like I actually have enough of. So the fact that I have enough rare blue chips means we're short on something else in our search for rare Q2s, so we're back down to not having enough rare Q1s. Interesting. Um, and that's because we don't have enough green chips. Huh. So yeah, green chips are certainly the issue. could be helpful because I'm trashing copper plates right now so we could use those copper plates to make more cable 
What is my cable filter set to? 5,000? But yeah, we have copper plates coming out. Uh, maybe I already have the mech armor ingredients rare. Well, the problem is I need a power armor mark too. Um, so that's the main issue, is we need an uncommon or rare one of those. I do have some uncommons of the other pieces. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to call this a YouTube episode here. Because we're already an hour and 15 minutes in. So yeah, we are having a lot of fun. Fulgora has been so interesting. And obviously, you know, you end up with a much, much larger base than this eventually. But this is enough to get us, I think, the science that we need. I mean, have we been consistent with this? Eh. Sort of. Had these gaps. I'm not sure what those gaps are from. Probably not enough super capacitors. Maybe it's not enough homium. I'm not sure. We definitely have enough super conductors, so that's not a problem. Um, oh, you know, I should probably have, because these can, these are used to make Roboport Mark II's Tesla stuff, so I should probably have some in my inventory, just to carry around. I guess I don't keep my inventory when I go on the rocket, so I should put some of these on the Hendrickson, then. And is that true of supercapacitors? Yeah. Do some of these each. And those do 500, okay. That's a lot of super capacitors. I don't know if I want that many. So those ain't cheap. It seems like we're actually at a rate issue. Six, two, two. Get the rest of our beacons plugged in here, that will help a little bit. And then, all right, we'll call this an episode. Um, as always, for those of you from future YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.